Today I'll be speaking on a topic, commercial surrogacy, a new thought. The topic itself, I feel, needs a little change. I would quote it as compensated surrogacy and not commercial surrogacy. The reason being that whatever you compensate to a surrogate for what she has done and given this beautiful child, it is not enough and you can never term it as commercial from the business aspect. I'm sure people would now ask about this first slide, what is so unusual about it? It's a happy couple, the doctor sitting there and a pair of twins delivered, most likely an IVF. I will say there's much more to this for this couple and what is that? So I take you to the second slide. You will see the same lady over there with the twins and probably her mother. So it's the grandmother, the mother and the twins. Whenever there is a baby born, the mother who delivers the baby is the birth mother. You don't need a testing for it, like you need for the paternity test to confirm who is the father. But if I tell you over here that yes, she is the mother, she is the grandmother as well as she is the mother of the babies because she delivered the babies. So, she is the mother, the birth mother, the grandmother, and she is the intended and the genetic mother. How this all started? I started IVF in 1999, never thought of surrogacy. I thought it's a headache. Any couple who needs a surrogate mother, tell them, go and find your own surrogate or go for adoption. My consultation would be just one minute job. Till I got this letter from UK, that this girl is from Anand, but she's unfortunate, she doesn't have a uterus, they need a child of their own, their marriage was in trouble, and please give us a surrogate mother. My answer was same, go find your own. But they persuaded, and for three months, in 2003, we tried finding a surrogate in India, we could not find one. And today, Anand has a community of surrogates, almost 1,500 plus. And how this was possible, and how this happened, I will talk about it today. Something positive out of what you may consider negative can happen if you have the passion, and if you do have the dedication, and if you do it the right way. So what we did over here was that because we could not find a surrogate mother. The mother of that girl who was 46 that time, she said, I'm ready to become her surrogate. She was healthy. And I remember those days when I was doing my first case of surrogacy and that too for a daughter whose mother is going to be the surrogate mother. Both of them would come for the checkup at the same time. One would be taking the injections for IVF and the other would be taking tablets to prepare her uterus. I took out the eggs from the daughter, husband's sperms and the embryos. And when the embryos were being transferred, it was into the womb of the grandmother. And believe me, the grandmother had no problem, but she was worried about the society. She was worried about her other two daughters, that who will marry them if the world comes to know that my elder daughter has this problem. <laughs> the husband supported, the in-laws supported, and we supported. I remember after four months of pregnancy, she declared to her neighbors that she is going on a pilgrimage for five months. She took a house at rent in a nearby village. She was staying there. She didn't want to show that she is pregnant for her daughter. Her son would call me up and find out that there was no patient in my outpatients and she would be the last one covering her head and coming for her checkup. Was she committing a crime? Was she doing something wrong or criminal? Or was the daughter doing anything wrong? I would ask all the mothers present over here that what will you not do for your daughter? I will ask all the daughters sitting over here who will say with confidence that my mother can do anything from me and this is what she was doing. And in spite of that, in spite of that, she was hiding her face and doing it just because she was afraid of the so-called society. 
she took that courage and she did that surrogacy and see the reactions in the media. Somebody saying that doctors are playing brokers, doctors are playing gods. What is ethical is ethical. You are confusing the children. Whom will they consider mother? Whom will they consider grandmother? And today, I tell you, the children are 13 years old. Every two years, they visit their grandmother and they visit me. There is no confusion. The whole family is happy. And I would say that, why not do it? This was the first odd case I did it, which was altruistic. But then after this publications in media, I got a lot of inquiries that we want a surrogate mother and I was not intending to do it at all. Why should I do it? I have my own IVF practice, I'm a busy practitioner. Why should I take this headache? A doctor couple arrived in my clinic. It was a love marriage, inter-religion marriage and the girl desperately needed surrogacy because she had an adenomyotic uterus. There are various conditions where even if you have your genetic material, you cannot carry your child. Like this girl born without uterus. One in 4,000 females all over the world are naturally, congenitally born without uterus. There are patients in India, females, whose uterus is destroyed because of tuberculosis, fibroids, adenomyosis, or it has been removed. While delivery, there is excessive hemorrhage, you remove the uterus, the baby is also not saved. And the girl who has experienced pregnancy, waiting to hold that little baby in her hand, has now not got that baby and not got a place to carry the baby. What she needs is a surrogate mother. And who are we to deny them? So all these thoughts came coming to me. And when they came to me, this couple, they told me that uh, we are ready to compensate 250,000. And my midwife, whose daughter was my patient, heard this and said, my daughter is in a big financial crisis. Please make her the surrogate for this couple and her problems will be solved. So I started thinking that what should I do? Should I? Should I not? And finally, when I went back to the Hindu mythology, there is mention of surrogacy. Read Old Testament, there is mention of surrogacy. I thought that I have got these desperate couples with me. I have got these women who are voluntarily wanting to help someone with a noble deed. And I have the technology. Then is it right if I just refuse because it's a headache for me? I have to take care of the surrogate, I have to take care of the baby, I have to take care of the couples, answer the endless anxieties. Because just imagine putting your child one day in a house of an unknown person. You would not trust even one minute. And here, an unborn child for nine months is staying with a woman she doesn't even know. So looking at all this, I decided. Another unfortunate girl got married, planning baby after two years. That very moment, she was diagnosed with leukemia. She was with chemotherapeutic agents. She was happy that in two months, my chemotherapy is getting over and I can plan a baby and she got a viral infection because her immunity was low. She became paraplegic and incapable of carrying a baby that she was dreaming for four years, maybe throughout her growing up days. She could not carry, and there was this girl, Farzana, who had three children, who wanted to start a small business for her husband, coming to me. And I thought, no, I should see that Kanchana and Farzana help each other one woman helping another woman, and I did their surrogacy, and Farzana has a lovely grocery shop at Bharuj, and Kanchana has her baby. So n number of cases, you can see the emotions. There are number of couples who need it, and there are number of females wanting to do something noble, and in return get compensated to help their families, merging one family with another family. Now the other challenging task was, that when you are doing surrogacy, there are n number of problems. Will the surrogate take her medicine properly? Will she take care of the hygiene? So there are certain surrogates who do not want to show to the neighbors. The family would know. But what will they answer the neighbor that where is the baby that you were carrying? So that way many surrogates started coming to me that we want to stay in the hospital. 
And for the first time in the world, we came up with the idea of a surrogate house. How can I keep them in the clinic or the hospital? So with this, we created a surrogate house where they would stay, there will be a dietitian, they can go home, their family can come and meet. And all these girls staying in the surrogate house were for the first time enjoying a life of a hostel or a dormitory. They had never stepped out of their house this way. And what to do while they were there? So we thought of the vocational courses. They get compensated, but whatever they can learn, they were trained as beauticians, they are trained as in embroidery, spoken English, then even tailoring. So many vocational courses we have come up with, and they are so happy with it that when they go out, they get some part-time job with these learning that they have had with the surrogate house. So with that, we also started the surrogate trust to help the children of the surrogate. And we created a corpus where every year the children of the surrogate mother are given the educational materials and we give scholarship to the children who are performing best, almost 100 children and all the college going children are giving scholarship so that they are encouraged to educate their children. While we were doing this, an investigating team from Oprah Show came to us to find out what's going on. And to their surprise, when Lisa Ling stayed with us for five days, they said, we are seeing a different side of India. We didn't know that the surrogates were getting compensated and so much, and their life was changing. And she took it as the title of one woman helping another woman. I love it. She started saying that how far can a couple go to have a baby? And she ended saying that, yes, this is the way of life for certain people, and I love it. National Geographic did a story on a surrogacy practice and they also showed and got many awards for this documentary and House of Surrogates in the BBC. And this is how we started and how we are performing. Till in 2015 November, the government put a ban on surrogacy for foreigners, OCIs and PIOs in India. So now all we can do is the Indian couples who need surrogacy, not even the NRIs with foreign passport. Was this journey easy? I would say not at all. Immense challenge was there. You could read these titles, Baby Factory. My son was growing up. And whenever he gets a message that there is an article on your mother in the newspaper, he would just come to me and ask, Mama, is it a positive article or negative? Because he had to face the friends in the school. And I would tell him that if it's positive, it's OK. But even if it is negative, don't be upset about me. Whatever negative you read, you ask and clarify. Come to me. And he understood. So it is difficult for your children also to grow when you are being branded like this. And do I agree. I had my failures. I burnt my fingers twice when I did a foreign surrogacy case. Here, Manji case was very famous that no mother is ready to accept Manji. It was wrong. Manji was accepted by the father. They got divorced. It was there in the contract. But only thing, it was the first case for Japanese couple. And we didn't have a travel document. And that took a long time. Right now, Manji is really happy. I just met her in Japan. And I never realized that in 2010, I was put up on the week, the 25 most controversial people in India. <laughs> Imagine, you are trying to help two people. You are trying to bring beautiful children on this earth and you are stemmed as the most controversial people. Invited on Hard Talk by BBC with Stephen Sakur. And the chauffeur who was taking me driving down to the BBC studio said, Doctor, you still want to cancel? It's really going to be hard. My patients from UK saying, doctor, don't go. I said, no, I'll go. And believe me, that half an hour of interview is not at all hard for me because I was speaking from my heart. I had nothing to manipulate. I had nothing to hide. And that's why I could convince Stephen Sakur that surrogacy is not a negative thing. See the positive side of this negative thing. And this way, we started growing. Why commercial surrogacy? There are women who need to become surrogate to help their family without doing anything wrong, immoral. I ask all of you that just spend one day in the life of that infertile couple 
and you will experience what they are going through. It is so natural to have a baby and then to tell the world that I cannot have. I need some help. I need a surrogate and to hide that for that love of that child that they want. Spend one day in the life of that surrogate mother who wants to do nothing wrong but change the life of her children, of her family and do surrogacy. And spend one day in the life of that doctor who is doing it to know that praises and not enough, not what I want, but the criticisms that you get. The people involved from couples to surrogates, the doctors, are made to feel like criminals. I will say that the philosophy of my life changed the day I did the grandmother surrogate case. Where even initially I felt that, how can somebody carry somebody's child and do this? No, it is not correct. Till I met each and every couple who was going through this. Till I saw these children growing and how they are loved by their parents. And I see this surrogate's mother who never say that I have two children. They'll say I have three, two of my own and one that surrogate baby. They are also happy about it. And so, whenever I, I think the philosophy of life should be that if you have a thought, if you have an opportunity, take it, plan it properly, learn from your experiences, never get elated with success, which I did. When I was quoted on the Oprah and I was called there, I was like on the top of the world, but immediately God showed me that no, come down. And I had some experiences which made me realize that no, this is not important. Never get dejected by failures because failures are the stepping stones to success. The more you grow, the more humble you become. And that is the way to progress. Finally, dedication, passion, sacrifices, hard work, no substitute to that. And believe in God, his blessings is the ultimate. And so today, I can bring out the positive side of what people consider as negative and that is the reason I can stand up, I can speak, and I can show that surrogacy is positive and people should see the positive side of the negative aspect of surrogacy and respect these couples, respect the surrogates, and love the beautiful children that are born through surrogacy. Thank you.